Praise the Lord and let us stay into Psalm 78 for a small devotion today. I extend my loving greetings to all my listeners in the most holy name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The topic for today's devotion is Grace and Rebellion. In this psalm, the psalmist is talking about God's faithfulness and people's unfaithfulness. Israel was constantly hard-hearted and stiff-necked. It's recorded here to teach us to learn from the past mistakes. These are things that we have heard and known. It's not something new. So it is a constant reminder for us to help us stay in the right track. And we should not be hiding this history from the next generations. This calls attention of all of us. These are hidden treasures, record of the past to pass on to next generations. God's desire in giving the law was that Israel would hope in him and not forget him, would remember his glorious work, would be obedient and pass on the law to their following generations. And that they learn from the past and not rebellious. But under Ephraim, Israel rebelled repeatedly and willfully disobeyed the law, forgot mighty wonders and the loving care of God Almighty. Their rescue from the forced labors in Egypt and God's miraculous care of them in all their needs in wilderness by the shade of the cloud during the day and pillar of fire as light at night, providing water and meat for them by miracles. They forgot all these blessings very soon and they provoked God and became chronically disobedient to God. In verse 22 we read that they did not fully trust in God. They believed in him but did not fully commit their life in the hands of the Lord God Almighty. Beloved sisters, today also, most people believe in God, but they don't put their total trust in God or give their life to God. Even Satan believes in God, the scripture says that. The Lord God had to destroy many of the disobedient Israel because of their clear unbelief, not fully trusting in the word of God and not surrendering their life to the mighty hands of God. Still, they did not repent completely. They went back to their old way of life. But God being compassionate did not destroy them. God delivered and cared for them. How great is his grace that goes over and beyond our rebellious nature. The Lord knows our nature, our sinful, fleshly desires, but still He is gracious to us. May we constantly be reminded of the goodness of our Lord in the past, learn from our mistakes and be obedient and faithful to our Lord God. May God bless us, each one of us, with this small devotion from His own precious word. Amen.